Hello everyone, this is the Paper Princess and I just finished posting my first set of tutorials and if you Google Paper Princess Seaside Album, it's there, it's an ocean themed book. At the end of the that tutorial, I teased out my next project, which is this one. And this is a tango album, it's really pretty. So I'm going to do a walkthrough now and at the end of the walkthrough, I will tell you what you'll need if you decide to make this book. Okay, this book is a 10 by eight and a half, and it's got a three inch spine. So here we go. The first page, well, I didn't do much with the cover. I just left that like that. You can put pictures there. First page opens up and we have a flap, lots of little flaps going on. And right here, there's a pocket. You can put uh, brochures, or I'm gonna put maybe a copy of the menu. I'm gonna use this for a cruise album. You know, they have Captain's Night, Dress Up, Dancing. I figure this goes great with that. Page two, I love the way this came out. It's easy and it just looks cool. So there's a guitar paper in one of the pages and I cut it in the middle and the guitar opens up and there's a pocket here. I put with leftover papers, I made little flip books. And this is a nice deep pocket. You can fit lots of things in here. And here's another one. Love it, easy and it just looks beautiful. The third page we have a flap here it's pretty heavy because on top of it this is a pocket and this pulls out and I used a graphic 45 one of the small tags real small but I use those fairly often so that's a good thing to have okay page four this paper on um, one of the 12 by 12s, it has all these little four by four cutouts and it just screamed waterfall. So we will start and it just, I put paper in between each one too. So it looks nice. And there you see a picture. So it's really neat. And they're all held down with a magnet. The next page has a lot going on. Uh, there's a flap here, and then it opens up and up again, so like accordion style. And then down here, there's a flap. If you lift this up, there's a pocket underneath. And I have some more little books that I made. You can put pictures, you can journal in there. And I have a little brad here. I have a red shiny brad. You can put a rose there, a music note, something. And on top of this top section, I have a little side pocket. And I pull that out. Also, this is a pocket page, so there's a space in between. And I just put this card. You can load that up too with pictures. Maybe a nice big one from the cruise, a five by seven or something right there. Okay, the next page has two flaps. I love this, people dancing, dancing shoes. And there's a nice deep pocket here again also. One of the papers has four of these large uh, squares. So I have one on the front of the album and this one I made a book out of. That was left over. And you don't have to make booklets. You can just take, like this one's just a piece of paper and I, I, put on, I put it on top of another piece of paper. So they don't all have to open up. The seventh page has more of those square uh, cutouts and they're just beautiful. This is the back side of one of those squares. This top flap has a pocket, and I have more little 
booklets in there. I love the piano down at the bottom with the rose on it. And the eighth page is similar to the first. It's got this big flap right here. And that opens up this opens up right here and then there this has a nice big pocket and here you can journal this is the back side of probably one of those and this is a nice big one and the back is just a one of the papers from there's a patterns uh, collection that goes along with the Chow Bella Tango papers and I will show you that this came from the patterns coordinating patterns pack and there's the back yeah so it's a beautiful album it's fun easy stress-free and if you're interested I'm going to show you what you need to make this so I used 90 point chipboard to create the base. There'll be a tutorial on how to create the base. And this is easy because you just have to cut an inch off the top. Uh, for my cardstock for creating the album and through all the flaps on the pages, I use black. Uh, I like this one because it's 80 pound and that seems to be a good weight for me. If you only if you have 60 you could use that too um, I just prefer the 80 pounds so American card stock American crafts card stock has that and I also used their red so I have a pack of American card stock uh, American crafts in red and it's called crimson so the beautiful decorative paper collection I used is this it's tango chow bella these are 12 by 12 and i use two packs of this whoops yeah you can see that better and let me show you the coordinating card stock um it's called coordinating patterns it's by chow bella and also tango so the coordinating pack looks like this I also used an A4 pack, which is kind of like a, an eight and a half by 11. It has a lot of embellishments and tags in there. If you can't get that, you might want to get two of these. Um, you might not need it if you fill some of the, if you run out of paper, you can always use your red cardstock. So that's basically it, what you need there. And I will be posting tutorials on how to make the base and then we'll go step by step how to make each page so hope you enjoyed